morning everyone myself karan lalmani second year radiology resident at sivasham medical college and hospital i am presenting the case of the week under guidance of dr harshad sah sir dr nirmala chola sir ma'am and dr rashesh vyas sir history a 25 year old female patient premi gravida came for routine anc examination at 30 weeks she had no complaints at present and no previous ultrasound was done key images antenatal ultrasound showed a well defined anechoic cystic lesion measuring approx 27 into 26 mm noted adjacent to the right kidney as we can see the umbilical vessels pass adjacent to the bladder so the lesion is seen separate from the bladder and other major abdominal organs fetal mri shows a well defined altered signal intensity lesion noted in fetal abdomen adjacent to the right kidney which has fluid intensity and is seen separate from both the kidneys the lesion is seen separate from the urinary bladder as we saw on the antenatal ultrasound these are the images of the postnatal ultrasound of the baby showing a well defined anechoic cystic lesion noted in fetal abdomen as it was mentioned on the antenatal ultrasound this is the video of the postnatal ultrasound showing a cystic lesion in fetal abdomen which is separate from the kidney and other major abdominal organs above findings are in favor of a diagnosis of a fetal pelvic cystic lesion which would be enteric duplication cyst or mesenteric cyst more likely discussion fetal enteric duplication cysts are enteric duplication cysts which are presenting in utero they result from an abnormal recanalization of the gastrointestinal tract the compromise of two layers smooth muscle wall and an internal epithelium of a respiratory or intestinal type they can be cystic or tubular and may or may not communicate with the gastrointestinal tract ultrasound findings seen as an anechoic cystic lesion within the abdomen that is separate from the normal hollow structures such as bladder and stomach relative characteristic signs double wall sign and gut signature sign differentials fetal omental cyst fetal mesenteric cyst meconium pseudo cyst fetal ovarian cyst now we will discuss some important signs related to this topic first double wall sign it comprises of two layers smooth muscle wall and an internal epithelium of a respiratory or intestinal type second gut signature sign it is the ultrasound term used to describe the appearance of the gastrointestinal wall the bowel has five layers composed of alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic appearances this sign is used to differentiate benign from malignant conditions in benign conditions gut signature is preserved and long segment of bowel are involved whereas in malignant conditions gut signature is destroyed and short segment of bowel are involved these signs may not always be present location fetal enteric duplication cysts can occur anywhere along the gastrointestinal tract although greater predilection occur towards the ileal region common signs include distal ileum greater than distal esophagus greater than stomach greater than duodenum greater than jejunum associations they are often associated with additional abnormalities which include most commonly vertebral anomalies if there is a complicating bowel obstruction there may be evidence of polyhedromnios thank you